All right, guys, I am here today to show you my spiral bound journals. You've already seen some of them on my channel. Um, this one's plan ahead, so this one went with my plan ahead journal, so I'm not gonna talk to you about this one. Um, I've also talked about this pile right here because um, these are my pre-journal journals. Showed you that more in another video. I showed you all four of these more in another video, so we're not going to talk about them too much. Um, I will link below so you can watch the other video too if you are interested, or the other videos, videos if you're interested. I was so little when I was writing these. It's like um, it's like a different human being. I don't know if many of you, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if many of you guys my age, dating myself, 36. Um, have journals from you know when they were 12 but it's very interesting <laughs> it's a very um out of body experience to read your old journals from when you were a child now this is my favorite um <laughs> this is my favorite spiral journal um i guess aside from well you know what i have a few favorites so let me show you my favorites it's this one and these two these are my favorite spiral spiral these are my favorite coil bound journals. I own these three right here. Um, love this one. I bought it from an Etsy shop forever ago. I'm gonna show you the name, but I don't know if they still exist. Uh, Port Elizabeth Village. So if you wanna, if you want a journal that's lovingly made from a VHS box, that's a, that's where I'd recommend you go. Uh, they were very nice for me too, cause they um, they normally just do blank ones in their notebooks, but um, because I asked nicely, they put in lined paper for me. I uh, love this journal. I love this journal. I love, of course, I love Wayne's World, so it was just, it was just fun to use. You know, it was something different. Oh so, yeah, got my, my lined paper in there. Uh, this one's just cool. <laughs> this one's cool. Um, I don't like Reese's. I'm not a huge chocolate person, but um, I thought this was cool to use for Halloween, so that's when I used it. Um, I just really don't like coil bound journals. That's just the, the short of it. So I don't use these anymore at all. This was 2016 and this may have been, no, I think I have one more coil bound that I used later than 2016, but after that, that's it. Um, and you can tell I've done a flip through this at some point because the little things are covered up. But um, let, me, let me do you one of these. Oh, Halloween, I love Halloween. How fun. Wasn't that enjoyable? It's so hard to say. Uh, this is probably the latest one I have that I used. What year? Yeah, 2018. This is the last coil bound I ever used. Um, this is from bookjournals.com. I really like the guy who runs the website, the business. His name is Jacob. I follow him as Corgi on Instagram. So, um, so I went on this site, I chose the journal I liked best. Um, I thought this was gonna be like a sci-fi book. Cause I thought that was a robot on the cover, but then when I then when I got this deconstructed book that was reconstructed into a journal, I found out it was a book about Native Americans. So isn't that interesting? I, I went in thinking this was gonna be a completely different book, but um I still like the cover. Um, but you know it's so rough on my journals. This is why I don't like coil mound. Look how um how my pages rip. I'm too tough on my journals to use coil bound. So um, a lot of pages are falling out of this one, especially compared to my others. But yeah, that's my coil bound journals. I know this is just a little shorty video, but I do appreciate you hanging out with me for a few minutes anyway. Um, if you like my content, ooh, look at that. If you like my content, um, be sure to give me the thumbs up while you're here and subscribe so you can see more. If you want to help me out in life other than being a follower, you can also support me by, um, oh, sorry, I'm so obsessed with what I'm doing right now. You can go to thenerdjournals.net and hit support and, um, well, support will go towards, um, art art project purchases, art projects, you know, stuff to help me out with the nerd journals. I need to buy, um, better ring light in the future. 
Mine's good for now, but it's kind of on the fritz, so um, it's gonna suck when I have to buy one of those. But for now, we're holding up, so uh, yeah, just thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me for a few. I will talk to you again soon. Um, I still want to show you, I think, I think I'm finally down to just um, my code and quill journals and then my etc. journals, so I will pop them all in one video in the near future. You're cool. Come hang out with me again soon. Bye bye. You know, since my video is so short, I decided to tack on a little bit extra. So, um, gonna knock a few more journals out of the, out of the way to show you all my filled ones. All right, here's my coat and quill journals right on top. Um, I first backed this company when they were first coming out. Um, I gave them a lot 20, 25 bucks because I was really behind their idea. And I got this limited edition uh, gray, gray journal with the beautiful texture and this beautiful um, fabric teal emblem. Uh, and I got the Bernie Sanders sticker for donating to his campaign. And, um, that went right on the cover. I, I love Code and Quill. They have um, they have dot grid on one side and then indention lines on the other other side. So hopefully you guys can go look at that. Um, and then the company, God bless them, <laughs> bless you so much, Code and Quill. They reached out and gave me this journal plus uh, their monolith, which is freaking huge. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it, but it's it, it's a honker. Um, it's as big as my plan ahead journal uh, with the pink birds on it. I don't know if you've seen that, but you can see it in one of my past videos if you want to know how big the monolith is. I'm not going to show you right now because I'm showing you my filled journals, not my blank ones. So, um, I'm just going to give you a peek at the inside and a quick little blah so you can see my style there on the inside. And once again... There's a few years in between, you can tell because my style changed. Um, also, my address changed. I'm gonna blur that out there. Um, and well, my styles are kind of similar in the actual journal, I guess. I did do more project lifestyle in this one. And then um, here's the journal I, uh, I really liked. I liked, I bought it twice. Yep, I don't remember which one I had first. Um, I think I used these pretty much when I got them, so let me check on the inside. So yeah, I got this one in 2013 and I got this one in 2016. I'm pretty, pretty certain that's actually close to when I got them and not just used them. Ooh, it's thundering outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Ooh, ooh I was, um... Uh, Yesterday, I was worried we were going to have a tornado. Of course, this isn't um, yesterday from when you're watching this video. I don't know when I'm going to get this edited and uploaded, but um, yesterday in real time, uh, my husband and I were standing out on the front patio watching the clouds because it looked like they might start to funnel uh, and our um, local tornado warning was going off and all that. Oh, scary. Uh, tornadoes scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> so this is my orange, orange circle. I guess I should talk about the actual journal. Um, this is my Studio O Orange Circle Studio Journal. It is um, a fabric cover with a hard, hard cover. Or fabric top around a hard cover. And um, the inside of this journal is beautiful, but I stickered it up, or I stamped it up rather. Can you see? Anyway, there we are. Um, hope I, yeah, I didn't completely cover it up on the back though. There's my dog, Pedro, he was just a baby then. Uh, I love that inside cover. I'm glad I didn't cover it up, but I did on the front. <laughs> and this is what my journaling is like in this guy. Honestly, my style hasn't changed that much. It's evolved, but it hasn't changed, if that makes sense. <clears throat> And uh, here's my Paisley version of the same journal. It's hardcover fabric. Um, this is not what I looked like at the time of the journal, but that is what I looked like when I graduated high school 100 years ago. Uh, not 100, 19, 
19 years and a couple months ago. <laughs> so old. Uh, fun fact, I was never invited to my high school reunion. I doubt I'll be invited to the 20th either. Oh well, I don't think I'm missing much. And there's a little, a little look-see at um, these journals. So I'm just gonna tack this into uh, the video. And um, yep, cool. Oh man, the way I'm going, this video is never going to end. I just found another Orange Circle Studio journal when I was putting away my other ones. Uh, this little pocket one. Stupid cute. Love it to death. The pages are beautiful on the inside. Um, I do have memories related to this one as well. Um, like the spiral one I talked about recently um, was the last time I saw my mom living. This journal is the one I was writing in when she passed. So. Yeah, those, those two journals are very special and hard to read, but um, this one's, this one is at least beautiful. It's got it going for it like that, but um, the other one wasn't particularly pretty or anything, so it doesn't have anything going for it at all as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, and here's my other Orange Circle Studio journal with the little elephant. It is freaking gorgeous.